this is weird. <laughs> Actual real life people. Uh, it's only been like two years since I've spoken in front of people, so I'm, I'll level with you. I'm pretty nervous uh, about this. It's, uh, it's a far cry from uh, sitting in my home office outside Glasgow in my pajama trousers and a strategically positioned webcam. I'll leave you with, with that uh, <laughs> image. <laughs> Uh, I'm here to talk about OpenFin Workspace, and in particular, the, the Workspace uh, SDK. Uh, I'm Gavin Lachlan. I am VP of Product Management at OpenFin. I joined in May of this year, having spent uh, the last seven years or so building out uh, a desktop platform uh, using OpenFin at JP Morgan. So I'm super excited to be part of the team now building out uh, Workspace and rolling that out across our industry. Before I get into talking about uh, the Workspace SDK, I want to do a little bit of a refresher on what Workspace is. Uh, we did launch earlier this year. Uh, we had a, a video that I think deserves a proper airing in a, in a theater. Uh, so I want to show that. It's only a couple of minutes long just to set the scene on, uh, on what Workspace is. And then I'll be right back with you. Anyone else got a little bit emotional with that? <laughs> just, just me. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so we released Workspace earlier this year uh, in the springtime. Version 1 went out into production. Uh, as you saw in that video, Workspace is a collection of tools that give you a, a desktop environment. From OpenFin Home, which is your command line driven input to quickly access your applications, to the browser component we saw that gives you advanced layout management, multi-window capability, interoperability out of the box, to notification center giving real-time alerts to your users, and more importantly, allowing them to take action and drive their workflow back into the applications that those alerts originated from. 
What you didn't see in that video was the additions we've made over the year. We've added a, an OpenFin store to the collection, giving you an app store-like experience where your users can browse and discover content, uh, and a dock floating toolbar to give quick access to content. Really, the purpose of all of this uh, is to allow platform builders to concentrate on providing content into the desktop environment and not spending their time having to build you know, toolbars, command line interfaces, etc. So what's changing? On one hand, not much. Everything I said there still holds. That's still the mission, that's still what we're doing with the workspace. But having worked with a number of partners this year um, and standing alongside them as they're deploying out into production, we've seen a number of patterns of how people are using workspace and what it means to deploy this in the real world. We've had requests from our clients about getting more you know, control and customization options as to what experience is actually given to their end users. So this is what Workspace looks like uh, when, when we released. Set of applications that you configure a desktop environment to tell those applications you know, where to go to get their, their definitions. The, the Workspace platform will read those definitions. It will populate home, etc., and load content into our, our browser. In the real world, what we see people doing is they often end up building like, another application to go alongside this. So a helper app, a utility app, a bootstrap app, a companion app, all sorts of names for it. But the responsibilities of this app are typically the same. It's typically about um, this is where you would do your authentication and authorization. If you're hooking into uh, the, the home component and using our, our search API, this is where that code would, would be running. You, if you're building a trading platform, you might want to run your, uh, your, your pricing service here and have your content depend on it. So we've really taken that idea, and we want to make these applications, we want to promote them to be first-class citizens of the workspace environment. So fast forward to last week, where we released Workspace 4.0, and where we really started to do this transformation to uh, enabling the SDK approach. What was that you know, companion application is now what we would call a workspace platform application. This is the thing that you launch, and you're now in complete control of how that authenticates, what the back end is, what your app definitions look like, and we've sort of cut the cord from the workspace from, from talking to the back end now. You would now drive workspace using the client side APIs in the SDK. So we have APIs for home, store, et cetera, and you can drive those with, uh, with your content. Similarly, browser, which is our, our next release, will uh, bring browser by the end of the year. We've taken that away from being a singleton application within the, the, the workspace. And that's way closer to your platform now. It's your instance of browser for you to drive uh, content and you to control where that content lands within the, the browser application. So what does it mean to build a platform? You now deploy your application. Users now run your application. So your app, they log into your app. As I said, like whatever mechanism is appropriate for you. Your application now registers with the components that it wants to use. That's another significant change. You now get to choose uh, if you want to use the browser for your layout management, a notification center for your alerting, but maybe you've already got a toolbar UI that you're not ready to migrate to OpenFin Home. You have the choice to not use Home and continue to use your own UI and integrate with the other components. You supply the data to the components. So you can imagine supplying the data to a store to, to have all your applications render there, and then you respond to the interactions that the user makes in that store. So if they want to launch an application, your platform is told, user's trying to launch application X, and it's up to you how you launch that. You launch that into a new browser window side by side with another application, maybe it's a native app, maybe you're using OpenFin platform. Again, choice, choice, choice. So that's the model. Uh, we release new versions of Workspace, every month. We're iterating fast on Workspace. Uh, we are looking for feedback, we're trying to make the APIs as ergonomic as we can, and we're adding new capabilities. But just because we release every month doesn't mean an institution needs to take that version. We give you the control. 
So you can decide when you want to take a new version and, and what that version is. When we release new versions of Workspace, we certainly don't want you needing to build a new version of your application and deploy that. So new versions of Workspace are backwards compatible with the SDK that you've built your platform with. And similarly, if you use the latest SDK, your application would still run uh, in an environment where an older Workspace was running. Now, you obviously wouldn't get the latest and greatest features of that SDK, but it's not going to fall apart and leave your app a broken mess on the floor. Briefly touching on what we're doing next uh, on Workspace, as I mentioned, browser SDK uh, will land before the end of the year, and this completes uh, our APIs, our client-based APIs for all of the components of Workspace. Theming is a big you know, it's a big ask we hear about a lot. The ability to apply your branding to the workspace environment, the ability to supply your own color palettes and make this thing look and feel like it belongs uh, to, to your institution. Customization is going to be an ongoing theme. You know, our, our priority right now is getting these SDKs out. And then with our subsequent releases, we'll be adding more and more capabilities to customize the behaviors that you actually want to enable uh, for your users. Just wrapping up, like really, why are we doing Workspace SDK? It really is about empowerment to the platform, and that empowerment is through flexibility and control. Right? It's the flexibility to choose how your platform works, how it authenticates, what your back-end patterns are. OpenFin have opinions on that, but we're not forcing that on you. It's completely up to you. Choose which things you want to use from Workspace and what makes sense to you. Control the versions that you're using. Control the look and feel control which features you want. This is the journey we're on with OpenFin uh, Workspace SDK. Uh, I'll be outside after, so I can talk for hours about this. Uh, if you want to talk to me, please come say hi. I look forward to it. Thank you.